Morbius debuts with a, a dire 19% score on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> dire. Uh, that is dire. What a word choice. Um, I knew it would be bad when I saw that Jeremy Johns had like a very, uh, you know, exasperated mm-hmm. review of this. He's kind of like the people's reviewer. Like if you're, if you're, if you don't care for like the, the over the top, uh, art, artsy, um, elitist critics who are like, yes, I went to film school and here's the lighting in the scene. the guy who went to film school. But I'm just saying, you know, the, <laughs> the, the, the average person hears somebody review me movie like that. Like, I don't care Were the effects cool. Did the guys yeah. look cool? Did the women look cool? Was yeah. everybody charismatic? That's what people care about. Was the story good? Yeah. Not all this other stuff that people tend to let um, uh, bleed into their reviews on top of the fact that these companies, uh, you know, they have to give good reviews to certain studios because of uh, they get early access to movies and all that stuff. So, uh, But when Jeremy Johns gave that bad of a review, I was like, maybe he was right. And then people kind of pointed out and I realized maybe I was like looking at this wrong. They're like, did you see those trailers? They were awful. And then I went back and rewatched them like, they are kind of awful, aren't they? Yeah, this never appealed to me. I, we talked about it. We've we've talked about it in the lead up a couple times. Yeah. Like, but I just assumed it was because I wasn't into vampires. Who like, know, or I was, Jared Leto, to be honest. But like, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna because I've got a have I got an opportunity for you uh, to learn to someone. like Jared Leto. No, so you can't make me do anything. I can try. Uh, <laughs> the reviews are in, and sorry to say, Morbius appears to have fallen fall well short of its predecessors, landing in one of the most dismal Rotten Tomato scores in recent blockbuster memory, with forty seven reviews lodged. Now that's a pretty small. That's a pretty small uh, sample size. That number will go up. Uh, the movie holds a score of just 19%, one of the m- worst of the modern age of Marvel films, and, uh, c- and comfortably the lowest for any comic book blockbuster, uh, even tangentially related to Spider-Man. Now, they're right about this because it's Marvel, but it's not Marvel. It's Marvel, but it's a Sony movie. Mm. This is not a Marvel Studios project. So it says, uh, which is a bummer for me because all the other Sony movies have been fairly good. Mm-hmm. Morbius... Uh, notwithstanding but venom was good venom 2 was okay i Um, like venom 2 i still stand by it like i said if they don't make if they make it like politically inoffensive and not filled with agenda i'm liable like this could be the worst movie ever and i'm like but they didn't lecture me for 40 for for 45 minutes i forgive them a lot like that's uh, half my reviews these days are like look i know it's kind of bad but just go with me on this one Mm -hmm. did they tell you you were a horrible person did they tell you that uh on your mic on your mic say hello what that's steve oh, hey friend yes um so so as long as the movie isn't lecturing me i'm usually i'm usually okay oh i thought you put it in your shirt that, i was like i was like bold move <laughs> no the people listening to the podcast jump down my sweat uh <laughs> hannah claire is being uh ogled and attacked I don't deserve by, this. by a by a stink bug no i legit thought you were like i'm gonna take this one home <laughs> i was no. like me and mary i'm like i look at mary i'm like what the? so okay we don't like morbius it's got dire reviews mm-hmm why are you guys neither one of you are planning on seeing it right no we're both planning to see it i was really excited for it we can still go if you still want to go i don't know if brian wants to go brian really wants to go but here's the question why he likes it's got dire review oh that's different but here's the question do you want to go and join j uh jared leto's cult anybody no you make you have more fun being a follower, but you make more money as a leader. This is thanks, yeah, Creed Bratton. That is what we learn here. So it says fans, uh, c- fan ra- fans raise concerns about Jared Leto's self-described cult retreat that is coming back this summer. Is it notable that the headline is describing it as his fans, not just like random people, observers, like yes. the media? It's like people who are fans of Jared Leto are like, yeah, there's a cult. It's, it's a little culty. So it says Jared Leto is well documented to be rather alternative in his lifestyle choices. I love that term. Beautiful and it's, bold. it's the most early 2000s term ever. Alt man. So alternative. I love it how it's all females. Oh, uh, I see. But there's like one dude in see, the background. I don't see any dude. Oh my God, it is all women. I didn't even notice that before. No, if so you, it's a sex cult. <laughs> it's, it's a no, sex if cult. you scroll down, there is a photo like in one of those oh, tiny squirrels. Did, yeah. did either of you, uh, I, did I send you guys this article specifically? Okay, uh, you guys, uh-huh. when this is over, because we won't be able to show it on here anyway, you're going to watch this trailer and it's going to, it's a trailer it's, for for his cult. It's a cult what trailer. What does he market his cult as? Like uh, a well, summer camp? This a, kind like, of reminds up a festival. It's basically yeah. It's like a it's like a rich person getaway kind okay. of. Okay. Uh, so it says the 2022 
2022. Yeah, I got that mm-hmm. right. I can say words. I'm good. The 2022 iteration of Camp Mars. That's the name of it. Because uh, he was in 30 Seconds to Mars. He's still in 30 Seconds to Mars. Oh, that's still a thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, of Camp Mars has multiple different kinds of all-inclusive packages, which range from $1,699 to $7,199. So not only do you get to be in a cult, you get to pay money to be in a cult. Wait, who has money like that? It, uh, apparently these... Uh, rich women. A lot of people that... can go into credit card debt. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Well, I, I have heard of it. This is a, I've this never is a diverse one. cult too. This is I'm seeing all different well, body types. I'm seeing that lady's like 80 you years have to old send in back a then. Photo like an application. To no, go to the there, camp? there's one woman. No <laughs> headshots. Headshots must be included. There's one woman. No offense to her, but she's morbidly obese and sitting in the front. Where? You scroll down. She paid the most for her. It. No, 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 no. I oh. said scroll down, honey. It's in one of those tiny... Watch your mouth. <laughs> it's in the Twitter one. You okay. click on it and it's going to show you. This one? Yeah. Like she's sitting in the front. Mm. Um, left hand corner. Okay. Back one? Um, No, not left oh hand. Oh my God. Right hand corner and it's going to be on the top. My bad. I can't thresh it. See? There's a more girly... No. I don't see her. She's wearing the bottom. Oh, pants. I do see. Okay. Yeah, I, she's. I see. That's you know. That's it is what it is. That's, no offense to her, but she's morbidly obese or a little bit on the heavier side. Those are two vastly different things that you just. She's like she morbidly obese and and <laughs> and what it was the other one. A little bit on the heavier side. Are not the same thing, Miracle. Wait, I know. So what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I'm tired. Wait, so we go to. <laughs> Mars Land or whatever this is called. Yes. And you can listen to music. And you can do yoga and you can but watch. I love like their Twitter. It says yes, this is a cult. Yes. Yeah. So, so, it does uh, seem like. A cult. I, I don't like. How many times has he done this? And this is also um, uh, Mary uh, off camera found this uh, article for me that says I love this preface. It says I would like to preface by saying that all cults are not inherently bad. <laughs> I love witchy stuff and group bonding activities as much as the next person. And it's amazing that I haven't accidentally joined one already. This is really creepy. Uh, is this written by women? Because women are more likely to take cults. Caitlin yeah. Watson. Caitlin Watson. While the average person knows of heavy hitter lead, uh, heavy hitter leaders like Charles Manson and Jim Jones, I like how she can't come up with an example of like a not bad guy cult member. Like not all cults are bad, but all of my examples are bad. Are are serial killer She's cults. Got- Scientology. That yeah. is a cult. That's what I was gonna say. It's like, do you have to pay? Do you have to pay into yeah, Scientology? You, you yeah, have you to do. pay, you and pay then tons you tons of money to be into Scientology. You pay for it, and then how you get higher up? So they don't call it like different division, like levels. They call them classes, and each class you have to pay for it because they treat it like college. What? The guy who wrote the book that led to Scientology. I think the book initially was like how to make money off of founding your, uh, your own religion. Okay. Yeah. He literally profited off of it. So it says J- J- Jared Leto, the name of the cult is The Echelon. Even the name is is culty sounding. Uh, the retreat, which consists of Leto dressed in white robes and a three-day music festival for hundreds of fans to enjoy music, yoga, and movie screenings. However, during their retreat, the band had tons of had tweets of photos of Leto leading hundreds of people while all of them were wearing white captured. Yes, captioned, yes, this is a cult. And yes, for the people listening to the podcast, all you have to do is go and Google Jared Leto uh, uh, cult or Jared Leto echelon, and you'll see this photo of him walking. He's literally like, you, I can literally like almost see his face like, <laughs> I look like Jesus right now. That's literally what he's yeah. thinking you right know here. what it reminds if me jesus of, wore aviators it kind of reminds me of um season two of umbrella academy okay. there's a character named klaus and he looks like that like where he has long he hair runs it in croatia yeah hey i'm croatian so Sorry, maybe I maybe i was meant to join this cult but well, also you- what are the rules around public gatherings in croatia like mm-hmm. some places pick their locations based on the legality right yeah. like mm-hmm. there are some cults that specifically operate places where like underage sex is less uh is not prosecuted at the same level and i'm sorry like but that. when you when you look at this you can just I'm not tell applying he's- that for Jer- no. jared leto i just mean generally what is the benefit of being croatia although at one point croatia was considered one of the like most affordable european destinations and it's got a lot of coastline so i i I had this one last article that i just thought was really funny says fans think jared leto's cult was a terrible publicity stunt here's why Mm -hmm. uh and they talk about like what they thought about like what he was doing this this article might not be worth uh like giving credence because this person said his his role in the suicide in his suicide squad was good Mm -hmm. so that that throws you off that's a red flag that is a huge red flag 
flag that their judge that, that their judgment may be severely impaired. Mm -hmm. that, but you know, I I digress. Uh, it says off screen Leto is as much of an enigma as his characters. He's many things. He's the method actor, the emo rocker, the fashion king, the best beard grower. Like I said, I want to see a I want to see a Russell Brand cult instead. Yeah, I was gonna say he sort of looks like a more boring version of Russell Brand or Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, give me the Russell Brand cult all day. I'll Quick question, Hannah Claire. Have you ever liked his work? I never got into it. Yep. I listened to 30 Seconds from Mars when it was like, you know, back in the day. Mm -hmm. But I've never really been a fan. I also think that like there's a lot of stuff he does that I think seems narcissistic. So mm -hmm. I've never like, he's never seemed appealing to like, me. Like just making people pay to spend time with him mm -hmm. in another country. <laughs> <laughs> it's just i mean like i don't know that one seems less weird because like there could be tons of bands that do like festivals like yeah. astroworld yeah. from travis scott like that's yeah. you're not really spending time with him the way this one is mm -hmm. but like i understand that they might want to run their own events it's just that like this one i don't know he's always seemed to me when he carried his own head at the met gala i was like but you actually keep that head to like look at yourself right yes. like uh, I, I do find it funny that this article also waves ha like hand waves cults cults it says first thing this is from that last article it says first things first we have to point out that not all cults are bad <laughs> sure when you hear the word cult you probably think of leaders like Charles Manson and Jim Jones man they're just getting a bad rap today that, that's the also, second like, don't if your point is that not all cults are bad I understand you might have a couple examples of bad cults but then you should supply good cult example uh the, and then they said or the most or the more recent example of keith rainier that was the the one that the girl from smallville joined the there the, are the like, weirdo sex cult yeah. i don't know that you can find a positive cult i'm waiting for um it. no there's an instagram account called good cult legit sounds like a way to slash not like other cults I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, uh, no, we're a good one we're, we're, we're like and they the have cults. their own website too goodcult.com perfect that is just not like, all cults are is that, bad is that our office goodcult.com yes, goodcult you just so get redirected to our employee so just, i'm just kidding i'm just kidding oh it's a clothing brand that's oh. cute but cults can be beneficial when done right if they're not they can be there can be severe repercussions blends points out uh, blend points out that all religious start as cults uh, and they all have the same two components having a home base with a rock and roll name the factory and having an enigmatic and powerful man that could subconsciously no. or consciously control a sizable group of followers you disagree i object do tell well cults are like an actual classification of yeah. like social organizations and they like you can tell them apart from like like if you could if you were like a commune right and everyone lives mm -hmm. together and everyone shares resources or whatever yep. like that doesn't make it a cult a cult has ideology that like you that draws people in and makes them fearful of the outside world like yeah. one of the reasons they're often tied to religion is because they say you will suffer yeah. mm -hmm. because of this force that i am the only one who can connect to right like their leaders wield authority they change in a different way they change right. language to isolate and you from the outside it world. is to dissuade you from yeah. trusting the outside world like communes mm -hmm. choose to live separately but if you wanted to leave no one's going to smite you yeah. Yeah. and that's not true of cults like cults are a specific way of defining human social structure yeah. mm -hmm. that has an authoritarian like fear-based mm -hmm. ideology it's kind of like how kimmy schmidt like that netflix um tv show where they talked about it a little bit because like the guy who is the cult leader basically he said the world's gonna end come on little kid come with me mm -hmm. oh gosh yeah so yeah, like it, to me, it looks like rich, uh, rich divorced wife summer camp to me. Uh, or yeah. like girl whose parents pay for her the rest of her life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or it's like Coachella, but sucks. That well, right here it says the cut wrote at the time that it was more like a combination of Coachella, a work retreat, and a guilty remnant gathering. <laughs> See below, uh, camp or first seeds of child of Leto, Leto cult. Either way, there are probably worse ways to spend nine hundred dollars than watching Jared Leto commune with nature for a weekend. There is absolutely. Uh, probably not many worse ways that I can think of than having That's a to, terrible way. That is a horrible way to spend $900. I could think of like, I could buy, like, I could spend $900 in like one of those like claw vending machines mm -hmm. trying to get something out. That is a better way to spend $900 than spend, I, watch Jared Leto commune mm -hmm. with nature. I think this whole situation is weird in part, like, it's interesting that people are picking up on it because like, ha ha, Jared Leto has a cult, but also yeah. like, should we be concerned but we have been building him a platform for so long yep. that there's no wonder that he has assumed it's an altar right like mm -hmm. it's not they are not reversing their stance on jared leto but they're also like 
oh, wait, maybe something is wrong. We should ask questions. We want to ask questions, but we also don't want to admit that we did anything bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it says, did the, this article asks, did anything unsavory happen? Very good thing to ask. According to Blend, nothing... We've investigated <laughs> ourselves and we say that we are fine. Yeah, <laughs> we have done nothing wrong. Exactly. I think we say that about once an episode now about everything. I like, think that's what happens though. Says, nothing sketchy happened during the summer camp retreat. Judging from Leto's Instagram, it looks like Camp judging Mars... From, was, I know. <laughs> Jared Leto's Instagram. <laughs> judging from Jared Leto says everything's cool. So judging, don't worry. Judging from this cherry-picked collage of images created by the user we, asked we the have cult decided leader that nothing is a wrong. cult and he said no it's not a cult everyone has the their right to leave and we were but like okay perfect. i'll kill you yes <laughs> uh, it looks like camp mars was uh, brought back in uh, 2016 and 2017 but the website doesn't seem to be working yet in 2019 leto and 30 seconds to mars started to play on the word cult in what looks like a publicity stunt that that, that held another cult-like retreat in croatia for hundreds of fans and posted their twitter's various photos of leto wearing a white jesus robe it's almost worse it's almost like this is just him being really really like annoying and showman in full and yeah. using his showmanship to play on something that actually well, hurts a lot of people. that one <laughs> shot of him like he is on a stool like talking to all of these people He's, like it is weird it's yeah. a weird position to covet uh, uh it feels like he he just loves the attention he loves the attention but also like there's one thing like a lot of performers seek attention, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever. But he's seeking authority yeah. is what that looks like because he's yep. putting himself on a position higher, right? Yeah. In all of these pictures, he's doing something to make himself like above everyone else. Yep. You know the one where he's walking on the wall? Yep. It's uh, it feels very uh, like to me. It's like tw ten years down the line, we're going to get an article probably from this website that says I was attacked at Jared Leto's cult retreat. No, I think, and then we'll say like, oh really? No, hard to believe. I feel like he's gonna be like. Oh, they start saying it's a cult. So I get to continue to act this way. In fact, I can escalate because it's just funny now. I run mm -hmm. a cult, but I actually run a cult. You yeah. guys have been reporting that I run a cult for years. I never denied it. Yep. Like, yeah. that's weird. Yep. The whole thing is weird. But I'm just saying, I can see something 10 years later, somebody gets out and there, or somebody just decides to make an accusation. Like, and it happened at the Jared Leto sex retreat. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, of course. What did you think was going to happen at a weird festival where there's hundreds of people and you're in has Jared he, Leto's walking around in robes? Has he like published a book or anything yet? Because like, know. I, I feel like that's what happens next. He writes a book about his world perspective and then it draws people to him and then we really get into the wildfire of cultism. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, he does have a book. What's it called? Um, Notes from the Outer Net. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, somebody, re I'll read it. We'll find his ideology. We can say if it's a cult or not. Okay. He launched it in November 2011. Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. it's been, it's been a while. In the building. Yeah, and he won an award for it. Best music book. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's a music book. Basically, I think he Who was gave just... out that that award. I have no clue. He himself gave himself. <laughs> I, no, I, I have I have held an award show and found that I am the winner of the award show. No, I was just joking. Basically, he got it from um N M E award. I don't know what that M -E, means. M E me from himself. <laughs> <laughs> His mom hosted the my my son awards what? and he has won all the M -E. awards. M E, I mm -hmm. give myself this award. <laughs> uh -huh. But basically, the book is a limited edition book of intimate photos taken by Jared Leto. Oh God, he's. I don't, 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 like, don't want to read this it, anymore. This is one of those ones where, like, ten years down the line, there was like, and nobody saw it coming. There but, were always <laughs> signs we just chose to ignore, ignore them. them. Exactly. Yeah, it's just photos of him traveling around the world since 2009 to 2010 oh boy just yeah. giving his thoughts on life yeah totally cult of personality think cult of personality there it is thanks for watching this clip guys if you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media links are in the description below bye, bye.